Okay, guys, you gotta see this because this is amazing. Charlie loves me now. All right, so this is Charlie, my green iguana. She's always been a little bit skittish. As you can see, she's even getting a little bit freaked out just from me opening the thing. I don't, maybe she doesn't like the camera. All right, I'm gonna, I think I'll just hold it. Let's see. I don't know if she cares or not. But there she is. Okay. Ever. All right. And there you go. I'm sorry. It's focusing on the wrong bit. Here, I'll put it in here. Yeah, she like doesn't like the camera very much. Look at that. She loves it. So I was just p p taking off all the spike things because she was shedding. And that's the most appealing thing ever. Like, I can't get these ones up here for some reason. <laughs> Unfortunately, like, I'm trying to get this one, but it just won't let me. But I took off all the other ones, and literally that's the most appealing thing to do ever. <laughs> and I'm so happy that she'll let me do it. So she really likes up here, scratched. Like, I just, I'm kind of rubbing her, you know? Which I've seen people do with other iguanas, and she really seems to like it, which is really cool. So, she likes that. She likes these picked off. And she doesn't even care how I go down her tail. Do doesn't care. You can see her tail isn't really lifted up. Like, she doesn't really seem to mind very much. Now, she is kind of puffed up, but, I mean, I don't know. She seems fine, and she just is all right. If I approach her and everything, she doesn't even care. So, it's not always, and she doesn't like being picked up, but <laughs> she's pretty chill now. Uh, like, if she's down at her food and I'm above her, she kind of gets freaked out. I think, in general, if I'm above her, she doesn't really like it, but since I'm even with her, like... Our eyes are matching right here. Uh, she doesn't really care. But here, look, this is one of the, the spines from, like, a shed, which is just the coolest thing ever. Like, and especially since they come off so easily, it's literally the most appealing thing to do, like, ever. I, I watched somebody do a video of it, and I'm like, I hope I can do that one day, and I just did. And that's just, it's so cool. So... I don't know what's up with her, but she just is kind of chill now, which is really cool. And, yeah, especially if I approach her with food first, that's generally, like, I put a piece of leaf, like, I put a green, piece of greens in front of her first, and that, then she kind of, like, chilled out. So, that's generally what it is. I just have to make sure she has food, <laughs> and she will like me, <laughs> which is the coolest thing ever. Hello, so to give you some background on this, I've had my Green Iguana Charlie for like three years now, and before this point, she like never let me do anything like this. Uh, like I said, she doesn't like being handled as far as being on me in any type of way, but she does like the occasional scratch. And I guess I did produce a video like this, but it was actually filmed later than the clip that you just saw. The clip you just saw was filmed November 6th of 2020 and it is currently January 29th of 2021 and that is just I think that's like more closer to the first time she let me do that which is really cool so I wanted to film that and now she lets me do it every once in a while even when she's on the ground eating her food and everything so that's really cool and she really likes me helping her remove shed and pet her which is awesome but I'm gonna add some other content into this video because while I filmed these videos a long time ago I need to upload them before I show you the things I've filmed more recently so I'm still releasing things in order even though they're a couple months behind and that's just because of the frequency at which I film versus the frequency at which I edit my videos and it kind of gets piled up but I'll eventually catch up with myself and then start making new content but I'm always making new content it's just weird how I upload things so none of these segments fit into videos on their own so next I'm going to show you show you a clip that I filmed when Linus was in Darwin's tank when Darwin the these are crested geckos when I'm trying when I was trying to breed Darwin and Linus which I don't think I've shown at all but I have bred them I believe and I will find out if I successfully have if Darwin's eggs hatch and they have Dalmatian like Linus. So I'm going to show you that and then at the end I'm going to show you a clip of a baby crusty gecko shedding which is adorable because it's a baby crusty gecko. So stay tuned. So it's very strange how 
Linus and Darwin have been acting, but they have been interacting, which I don't know if is the best thing. But there you can see Linus is kind of exploring, and I'm kind of thinking he might be looking for a way out. But I'm only going to leave him in for a week, and then I will put him back in his enclosure. And I think that's what I'm going to start doing with him and the females, is like maybe give him two weeks in his enclosure, and then like put him in with the female for a week, and then like give him two more weeks, and then the other female, and that type of thing, and just so then he can be breeding with them, and... I think that would be alright, and I think that he wouldn't be overly stressed by that because he would be able to be breeding and stuff, and maybe he would be alright with that. But I will make sure he's doing well and everything, and if he's not, then I'll we'll just leave him in his enclosure because it's not... That's the, the greatest concern, is for him doing well. Now I'm not exactly sticking with that schedule that I described there, although I feel like that's a valid way to do it. Currently, I'm co-housing Linus and Teddy, and they're in a very large tank together, but you guys will see that in a future video. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So now, we're going to look at babies, because they're adorable. And also, if you're interested, you could like the video. I don't know, I'm just saying it might be a good idea. Also, you could subscribe. It's an idea. And uh, there's the commenting. Comment down below. Also, cool video coming up, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is really interesting. This one is currently in shed. And I just disturbed it. But it has shed on its face. So I figured I would show that. I know, it's not the best. As far as videoing here. But... I believe the rest of its body's already shed. I think it just has shed on its face now. So it would be interesting to see if that'll all be cleared up by tomorrow. I didn't film it, but I vaguely remember that the crushed gecko had no issues with shedding, and I actually have it still, obviously. And it's much older now, again, obviously, because that was quite a few months ago. And it's doing great. Also, its name is Finnick. It's Finnick and Christopher the two uh, from that clutch that I'm keeping. And I don't know when I say that his name's Finnick, but those are, those are the names because I like those names. So those are the names. And the shedding went absolutely fine. It's real nice and humid in that plastic shoe box and everything's going great with the babies. So that is great. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I was kind of all over the place, but I kind of needed to be because this is just the footage that I had and I figured I could just do some updates on a couple different things and be all over the place for once. So hope that you enjoyed this video. Like I said, you could like the video if you want. It just depends if you like the video or not. And then also there's subscribing because obviously you would never think of it if I hadn't, you know, did, did you, wait. Did you know there was a subscribe button? Because there is. And then you can, like, follow along with the channel. I know. It's crazy. Most most YouTubers don't talk about it, but I'm going to let you know. I'm there for you, okay? There, There's a subscribe button. <laughs> and also the comment section. Let's talk about that. If you comment down below, I will respond. It's... It's... There's this reply thing. I do that to all of them, even if they suck. So, no judgment. <laughs> Put anything down in the comments. I will respond, unless it's rude, and then I might delete it because you don't need that negativity in your life. So, there's that. Also, I might make a video about it. That's what's important. I might make a video about it. So, have a fantastic day. Uh, yeah.